again, Pitt versus Rob, quite interesting, on Small Battlefield. You know, if he's in beef can gentlemen in Small Battlefield, does that make him kind of a masochist since he's responsible for this decision, at least partially? Uh, I, I think guess... Pitt probably benefits from Small Battlefield a lot more than PS2. Uh, perhaps. Uh, that's small either stage. way, whoa, that is a lot of multi-hits uh, from from uh, Roast Beef right there. He's really pressuring the control. It's really quite interesting to Ooh. see. Oh my Already? god! Already? Double there. Good grief! He really just Roast Beef really just canceled canceled out Retrobot like that. Quite interesting right there. Uh, Rob, not normally this character you see. Getting edge guarded because of how much mobility his his recovery has, but he is indeed big and vulnerable to stuff like that. Yeah, well, it seems like a little bit of a mistimed spot dodge from a uh, retrobot, but you know he's really not to be outdone. Ooh, that pit recovery really soaring up high, always to be quite convenient. Ooh. It's really interesting. It seems like roast beef. The key kind of ooh. Dang, he really didn't tech those. Anyway, it really seems that Roast Beef was a bit privy to uh, to Retrobot's tendency to use Rob Blazer for Edge Guard with those Guardian Orbitars right there. Really quite interesting to see, if I do say so myself. I don't know how often you ever see Pits go for the complete vertical arrow, but we just did. <laughs> uh, just dragging on the X percent. And it's working because Retrobot has 71. And Gyro just on the ledge, keeps getting hit. One day he'll get around it, but the roll gets red. Ooh, okay, another swing and a miss from Retrobot, but it doesn't really seem to be that ba big of a deal, because he's still got a, a fair bit of control. It's very you between either of them, you know. The moment one gets up, one gets up, the other goes down, and vice versa. Yeah. And even with Rob's great size, he's not too heavy, but... Heavy enough to not get healed easily, though that back air will do it. And just. Ooh. Just barely missing the tech chase down smash. But. Rob has not really been getting a chance to land so far. Just constant disadvantage, but. He needs to do it soon, otherwise. So you can take that stock. Because death is really just growing. But. Oops. How many times has that gyro gotten reflected? I don't quite know. But it seems like a pretty nice strategy. And we see, again, a very close range of percent. Really, I think anything can happen here, which is what makes these matches quite interesting. Uh. But we see again, uh, Retrobot really nailing down those lasers like Martin Luther with a 95 Theses. Uh, any, anyway, uh, we really, really got, really got pit with those down, with those down airs and airs. A really interesting battle, battle of spot dodges right there. Quite, in, quite interesting again. Gosh, I'm really overusing that phrase. Anyway. Uh, spot dodges are the name of the game, bro. It's just... If you're not spot dodging, you're probably doing something wrong. Real talk. Yeah, probably. Oh, oh. dang! I always hear just a little bit of delay with that game-ending blow, but it looks like Roast Beef he got the end of it. He's saying this into game two. Let's see what stage Retrobot will pick. I can't help but notice Rob is big. Indeed, he is. <laughs> he is lar <laughs> He is significantly <laughs> larger than my self-confidence. Anyway. Uh, let's see what stage Retrobot goes for next. It seems like we're in the banning process. Uh, what will the marker hover over? Hollow Bastion. Very interesting. Uh, uh, ooh, and the switch. Ooh, dang, me brawler. brawler. Always nice to, always nice to see that switch, you know. Uh, one thing that I heard from, a uh, Cross, you know, talking with him is that he 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 said he commented that he was always intrigued that Retrobot plays me Brawler and Rob two completely different characters very similarly. So let's see how true that is right now. Yeah. Uh, but either way, really, uh, roast beef really applying that really applying that pressure. Uh, but Retrobot he doesn't really seem to be outdone. 
Yeesh. Well, actually, the never mind. He just did get outdone, so I suppose my counter is a little bit trite. Either way, uh, really trying to take advantage of mo of the added mobility that me Brawler has compared to uh, Rob. Uh, yeah. But currently, she's just getting hit by the disjoints of Pit, who no longer has much of the range without being so big. But nah, it's really interesting to see. Rushbot pull out the Mii Brawler now, because I think he's been using Rob almost all bracket. So, interesting to try, like, see him switch it up. Kind of starting to get pretty late in the bracket, but... Yeah, I believe he says that he uses me Brawler to cover for the characters Rob does poorly against. So, maybe that was part of his mentality. You know... Retrobot, I don't know, He's always he always com comes here to this point. So I don't know how much he really breaks his sweat getting here, to be honest. Uh, definitely not when I've laid him. Uh, but starting to get a bit closer now after that pretty dominant stock from Roast Beast for the first one. This still has 40%, now 50 deficit to make up. Ooh, and the Dang, platform that move. read. Again, a near vertical arrow, quite interesting. Uh, Ooh, no. Oh. All good. Uh, Fjord, you're honestly right. I'm pretty sure when he said that, uh, that exact same retort was given. But <laughs> if I recall correctly, that's, that is what Retrobot said. Uh, anyway, moving on. Again, nice punishment with the disjoint on Roast Beef's, on Roast Beef's uh, part. Um, Rob has bad matchups because he's big. And Pit eats be big people, so how does counter pick? To <laughs> me, Brawler. Yeah. I don't even think this would be a better matchup, honestly, but he went for it. Up smash Billy whipping out a shield, but the thrupper Dang. will do it. <laughs> was that like a counter or something? No, that was just an up out of shield. Okay, just be out of shield, okay. Thrupper goes hard. I don't know why that move is very good, especially for killing and kill confirms. Ooh, barely missed the Neckman grab. Literally moved into him. But, uh. This box been playing from a deficit almost the entire game, but kept it. Moderately close. Definitely can go either way. Also, the Riku background. Just a lot more patience now. Can to kill percent. Dang, I always hear it just before it happens, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Looks like we got uh, Roast Beef winning out against Retrobot. Quite interesting. I feel like either I feel like either.